Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and I've got, oh man, this is cool. I've got a cool marble raceway. Yeah, I printed this. Oh, it's, okay. Stick around, because you're gonna wanna see it. You ready? Go. Hey guys, welcome back. This is a really good story, follow along here. I. I get a lot of email now. I get, I get a lot of email now. One email caught my attention and someone had suggested that I, I print this new cool marble looking raceway on my, on my GMAX printer and they thought it would look cool on video and I, you, I get a lot of these emails. So I thought, well, I don't know, I'll see what I can do. But, but, then, I, but then I looked at it, I was like, ooh, ooh, this does look cool. This looks really cool. I loaded it up into Simplify 3D and it said it wasn't gonna take too long. So I, I had a plan. I had Maker Geeks Blue loaded on my GMAX 1.5 XT and I had Matter Hackers Blue loaded on my Lulzbot Mini. So I was gonna do a two filament, two printer job on this and it, well, it, it's gonna turn out really great. You ready for the time lapse? Time lapse. Time lapse was cool, man. That, did you see that? It's huge. It's huge. And it looks like this. Oh, look at this. Look at this. The cap and the little rotor thing and the and the the, the, the screw mechanism are all printed in Matter Hackers blue on the Lulzbot. And this this big blue wonderful raceway is printed on my G-Max 1.5 XT. That spins around and the marbles come shooting out. Here, let me, let me show you some video on that. Oh, that video was great, wasn't it? Did you see all the marbles just, just going around? So this, I don't know if you can tell, but this has, it has some, some hairs. When I printed this, the, the Maker Geeks filament said 230 on the side of it, which I thought was high for PLA, but I went with it. Uh, since then I've printed stuff at 220 and it seems to work out really well. It doesn't have as many hairs. Some interesting notes on this build. Overhangs for the most part were decent, but there were places where the marbles would get stuck and I had to take my knife and just kind of scrape it over it to get any sort of little little bits of plastic that were left over out. It was places on the track and it was any tunnel and it was any little little raceway in here. I'd run a marble, it'd get stuck and then I'd, I'd kind of shave that, shave that spot a little bit. It didn't take long. Also, within this, within this screw in the middle, it rests on a post in the bottom and I had to kind of carve out the hole so it would fit on that post. And I had to, I had to carve out some holes and slim some, slim some, oh boy, I can't even say that. Slim some things down to make this fit on top. Oh, but it was worth it. So, so worth it. So the guy that emailed me, his name is Ir Irvind. Irvind. Oh, it's a, it's a name where the, the first letter of his name isn't in the English language. And he, I asked him, hey, how do you pronounce your name? And he sent me to a website. And I think it's Ir Irvind. Irvind? I hope it's Irvind. Oh, Irvind. I'm sorry, man. Uh, I hope that's your name. I will put a link down to this on Thingiverse, obviously, in the description. Hey, you should print one of these. Do you know what would be better than printing one of these? 
winning one of these. Oh yeah, I printed two. Look, I've got two of these. I've got two. So, here's the contest. You're gonna win one of these. Here's the little, here's the cap, and here's the piece you, you spin around, and, and let's see if I can get that out. Here's the gear. Here's the gear that the marbles all ride up. Here's the part. I'm, I didn't modify this one at all, so I'm going to, I'm gonna give this away, and you're gonna have to do the post work on it. I'm doing this because 3D printing isn't just printing the model, taking it off the printer, and then calling it a night. There is finish work, like I said, that has to be done. So I am gonna give you this, knowing that you will have to do some finish work to get the marbles to travel all the way around. And I'm going to include three eight millimeter ball bearings because that's what this is built for. The way you win this is through my Gleam system. Look in the description and you'll see a link to enter. You can enter by subscribing to my channel. You get an extra entry every day you view this video. And I'm gonna give you bonus entries for following Irvind on Twitter. He's a good guy. Why not, right? The contest will run for two weeks. That's right, 14 days. And at the end of that, we'll announce a winner. Oh man. Okay, big thanks to GMAX because they gave me the sweet printer that, that printed this. Big thanks to Maker Geeks for the filament that printed this. A big thanks to Lulzbot for loaning me that, that mini. You guys, I think, um, I think I may have to keep that. <laughs> and a big thanks to Matter Hackers for giving me some PLA filament for the Lulzbot Mini. Oh, I love this thing. This is so cool. This is so cool. Well, shoot, that was fun. I got to... Oh, you guys, I really hope you win this contest. That's right, you. I hope you win it. <laughs> Seriously, if you're the one that wins this, you're gonna love this little marble raceway, and, and if you get it and you need some help doing some of the post work to, to get the marbles running, running right, just, just shoot me a note. You know I'll help you out. Like this video, please. Like this video if you like cool things. Like this video if you like G-Create for that G-Max printer, if you like Matter Hackers, or if you like Maker Geeks for the filament, or you know, like this for Lulzbot. Lulzbot's good people. Share this video with anyone that you think might like it. Thank you to my patrons who pledge support through patreon.com. Again, I encourage everybody to give me no money and to digitally high five me, but if you'd like to go against my wishes, a dollar to my Patreon account, it sure wouldn't, Sure wouldn't hurt. It helps me. I really appreciate it. Hey guys, ah, this was fun. As always, high five.